Hey guys, it's Postbots Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today it's one of them videos where I go over the skins that have just been released to buy or not to buy and my own opinion on these skins. So we've got two brand new skins, two brand new, well, one brand new glider and one brand new harvesting tool, which is absolutely awesome. So let's go over the skins first. The first skin we've got is Circuit Breaker. It's an awesome theme. It reminds me of like Iron Man. It's got number two on it. It's a really cool like theme in general. And for the cost, it's not bad at all. It's only a rare skin. The only downside to it as you can see like the basic kind of like skin the Fortnite basic steve if you want to call it that it just looks like it i like to call it fred sometimes you know you get what i mean it's just pretty basic the next one we've got is cypher now cypher is an awesome skin i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it but i'm not 100 percent sure this skin looks really awesome i prefer this one over circuit breaker just because i think the like the eyepiece looks better and stuff it just reminds me of like an iron man type theme it's an awesome skin and potentially could see a lot of play in the multiplayer or the battle royale mode game mode currently at uh, the way it's going so i really do like the skin the cost of it is pretty cheap uh, you can buy your v bucks for that 1200 if you have to buy unfortunately the next price up unfortunately this one doesn't give you just enough but if you buy this one up you should be able to get access to it so mm, it's one of them things you can buy both skins and stuff then you've got the full collection if you want to go for the full collection we've got the mainframe which is an awesome glider very cool and we've also got the harvesting tool so if you're going for the full collection you could potentially do that with just one purchase of the v bucks and you should technically have enough because you'd have 1000 300 plus 1200 which is 2500 so you could get all the stuff pretty easily just from one purchase uh, you could pick well you wouldn't be able to get this skin you'd only be able to pick one but you could pick your favorite one and you could get the glider and the harvesting tool now again what do i think about this do i think you should buy it and will i be buying it well the answer is i will not be buying this skin personally it's not something i'm going to play i'm the sort of person who picks a skin and i like to consistently use that skin for example currently i don't know why i'm using this one the sub commander but currently i use the raven and i also use fun cops they're my two most used skins at this current moment in time i still haven't unlocked john wick i just haven't really been doing my challenges still got a bunch of challenges to do but i'm pretty sure i could get that if i complete the rest of my challenges but i don't think i'll be using the reaper at all really it's just something i will not be using at all it's not my favorite skin i don't really like it it's cool but it's not something i'm going to go for but then again potentially i could use it a little bit but to be honest i really like the raven and i really like fun cops so they're my two skins but let's go back to the item shop we've also got the rust bucket which is free make sure you go and cop that because that is an awesome item and i would definitely recommend copping that as soon as possible because you guys want to get access to that it's an awesome free item and it looks pretty cool on fun cops that rust bucket apparently was meant to be part of the rust lord skin let's check that out i'm pretty sure it should have been part of the rust lord but just didn't get added in i think they were meant to add it in in the free like part of the battle pass but maybe they forgot to put it in or they forgot to put it in a slot or something i don't know and it eventually come for free so that's pretty cool so that's a nice little item if you want to grab that a cool little item you can use with your rust lord if you like to use rust lord rust lord is actually a pretty cool skin there's some decent skins on the battle pass in general uh, some skins that don't really see much play here as well uh, this skin doesn't see much play at all but it's a nice cool one i personally prefer Bun fun cops the best so i always use fun cops but yeah okay so let's go over to here and see what else we've got we've got the love ranger unfortunately i won't be copying that this week it is one of my favorite skins this one but 2000 v bucks i don't really have like 2000 v bucks to chuck at that at this moment in time but it is a cool skin and i would definitely cop that if you can afford the 2000 v bucks for him what else have we got not really a fan of that pickaxe there uh the emotes and stuff not really a fan of either of them too kind of annoying that one really annoying this one really frustrates me it's just one of them ones that just gets on my nerves in the game and fresh is quite an old emote and i don't think i'll be copying that one because it's just something that's been in the game for a while uh, the tier pass won't be needed for me and everything else i've already gone over so that's my opinion on the stuff personally i don't think you should buy these if you don't need them but if you really do like them and maybe you have a duo partner you want to go this theme with then go for it i don't not like this skin i think it's a really awesome skin especially for the price the only downside to it is it is the basic skin in the background you look at like the epic skins and stuff they've got like their own themes to them so you look at these skins here uh well not all epic ones have but most of them have this one's got its own theme to it fun cops isn't a usual character uh, this one might be a usual character behind the mask i don't exactly know raven's a new character this one potentially uh, like I used an already character in the game, a character already in the game. We don't know in this one, and then this one we don't know either. So, but you look at these, you can see it's the same guy again. Uh, that one is just the girl with sunglasses. That's pretty cool. You don't know what's under the Rust Lord, so that's a cool skin. This skin here, mm, it's not really a usual character, so I really like it. This skin, usual character again, same guy. 
same kind of like design and then underneath the night seems a very similar design as well and then the same with the ones in the store same sort of design again that's why i don't personally go for these it just looks like the basic skin with an outfit on but obviously here's an outfit in general like skiing outfit same sort of thing but i like to call them skins i'm just so used to it that but you know I just don't know. I think there are some skins and they're definitely worth copying these outfits if you want to, but it's really up to you. I think 1200 is definitely a great price for them and if you've got the V-Bucks, go for it. But you've got to consider very soon Season 4 is going to be coming out and that's going to be costing about 950 V-Bucks or the upgraded version, which would be about 2800 somewhere around there. So you can go for that instead and that's what I'm going to be saving up for personally. So depending on what situation you're in, that's what I'd personally buy. My V-Bucks are going to be coming from Save the World. I'll show you guys that right now. On Save the World, I do have 800 V-Bucks coming to me very, very soon. Make sure if you haven't already, I'd go and purchase Save the World before you start buying any more skins if you haven't already, because the daily rewards on it is insane. There you are, day 105, 150 V-Bucks, so tomorrow, and then day 112, 800 V-Bucks. So by the time it hits day 112, we will be almost at season four and I will probably have, well, I'll easily have enough V-Bucks to buy the standard version of season four. So that's going to be awesome. It won't be long before season four news starts coming out. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe on this video. If you have enjoyed it, do stay tuned for more Fortnite content because I bring Fortnite content out every single day. Tell me what you guys think of these skins. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. And once again, this is Postbots Pat signing out.